Hey guys, Anyone Tech here, and I don't know if you guys remember, last week my video was all about a new console in the market called Ayua. Now, I promise you, if I heard any more news about it, you guys will be the first to know. So, that's why I'm here. So, I'll let you guys know some more new information about it, especially the specs actually from the machine itself, and some other interesting things too. So, if you want to hear all about it, you guys know what to do. So, stay tuned right after this. Alright, so the Android-powered, crowd-founded, $99 console called Ayua just reached its Kickstarter project goal of $950,000. Now you have to realize this first, folks. Now this project page just went live yesterday morning and they already reached their goal, and I guess you guys already did the math here, in less than 24 hours. Now I don't know about you, but that is pretty freaking impressive. Alright, now let me hit you guys with some more news here. Now, like a PlayStation 3 and an Xbox 360, this guy is going to come with a traditional-ish controller with a bonus feature, which is going to be, get this, a touchpad. Now, if you're wondering how this little guy is going to look like, well, they gave us some more pictures, so let them cover my face like I did last week. Here they are. Alright, now there's the, uh, the actual controller itself and uh, another picture of it. All right, now let's continue on. And also, if you guys did not know, if I did not mention it last week, this is being designed by a man named Yves Bihar, if that's how you say his last name, and also that this console is being backed up by a lot of prominent industry gaming folks, so that's a good thing to hear. All right, so now let's get down to the part of the video where you guys have been waiting for, and that is the specs that this console is going to have. Alright, so let's start off with it's going to have a Tegra 3 quad-core processor, 1GB of RAM, 8GB of internal flash storage, HDMI connection to your TV, with support for up to 1080p HD, Wi-Fi 802.11bgn, also Bluetooth LE 4.0, and lastly, and one USB 2.0 port. And since it is based on Android 4.0, even non-game Android apps can be ported to it and hackers can easily develop their own peripherals and solutions. Now the Kickstarter remains active for another 28 days and Ayua hopes to have their console to their supporters hands by quarter one of next year which is 2013. Now one more thing before I do want to end this video, I just want to mention that the founder and CEO had this to say. She said that the support has been unbelievable and that's exactly why we took it to Kickstarter. Kickstarter has just been the most phenomenal platform for specifically hardware and video game companies to bring their ideas to consumers. And if it resonates, you really get this swell of momentum and traction. And that's what we're hoping for. And it's just unbelievable the level of support. Well guys, that's the end of my video. Now I want to hear from you guys. Now that you know all the support that they're getting, all this money that's coming in, the controller and also the specs of their new console, which is surprising to me that they already announced it, so are you guys willing to go pick it up or not? Let me know all your new thoughts in your head down in the comments below. And of course while you're down there you can check out my alien box for my Facebook page and if you have not seen any of my latest videos you can check them out right here. And also, if you have not hit that little button right above, which I have no idea why you wouldn't have, I do videos almost every Wednesday, so hit that button right there and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. This is Alien1Tech signing out. Bye.